Hello everyone, my name is Mikhail Odinsov. I'm a QA project manager at ExactPro. I have worked in the software development for nearly six years. In this video, we will talk about test coverage. I will tell you about the advanced methods of tracing connections between the requirements and the results of tests. How to analyze the readiness of the system for the deployment into production and how to evaluate the quality of a large scale software systems. This information will be useful for managers, QA specialists and all level of decision makers who deploy systems into production. Apart from their decision making and internal reporting roles, traceability and high quality test coverage are also crucial aspects of the software compliance with the regulatory requirements. Such terms as traceability matrix, traceability testing or traceability of requirements are commonly used among QA managers. These are really important, but often the practical implementation of these concepts turns into something else. And this is the process I'm going to tell you about. For example, there are 15 new requirements which get uploaded into the HP Quality Center. HP Quality Center is quality management software for all stages of software development. One, two or three scenarios are created for every requirement. After they've been run, the system creates a report and tells us that all the requirements have been tested and the software is ready to be released to production. But the analysis of what is covered and what's not is far from a trivial task. In reality, what is important to us is not checking all the boxes, but understand how well our tests cover the entire functionality of the system and how complete our coverage is. This example doesn't account for the fact that the 50 specified requirements don't exist separately from each other. They need to be tested together, under the load and against the model that describes the entire system architecture. While testing new requirements, we try to see where the weak spots are. Therefore, we need tools that will help us assure that every requirement is covered by multiple tests many times with different parameters and under load rather than one test as a simplified approach of a traceability matrix model dictates. Real traceability is like a human brain. It's a model generating an infinite number of tests after running which we can collect the necessary data, analyze it and understand what we might have missed. In fact, the approach based on HP Quality Center concept, predominantly used in the industry, doesn't prove very effective when it's applied to the complex systems. Today we will talk in more detail about one of the methods of analyzing test coverage using a discrete set of message parameter values. One shouldn't assume that this method is a silver bullet and allows for evaluation of absolutely anything. Besides, it's only applicable in some cases. So, ExactPro specializes in dealing with protocol-based interactions between a financial system and its clients. The interactions are the messages containing values in different types and being transmitted via those protocols. In today's video, we are going to talk about the method that works especially well with a discrete set of field values, that is, when each message is expected to contain a limited set of values. Through practical experience, we have determined that so-called enumerated values are suitable for this type of tasks. So, the approach is called enumerated values checker, or enum checker. In our example, we are going to evaluate the coverage of requirements related to messages, their structure and fields. Enum checker is successfully applied to a system when all user actions and system transactions can be broken down into types, each of which can be assigned with parameters and their values. In that case, after running the automated tests, we can examine the logs, retrieve all these values and collect statistics on what types of transactions on user messages and system responses with which corresponding parameters and values were received. The results can turn out to be very interesting and let us see the things we didn't understand before. 
especially in the case of a large number of tests. The interface of interaction in financial systems is a certain protocol. The Enum Checker approach works for all protocols, but we will look at the very widespread case, FIX, or Financial Information Exchange Protocol. It is worth mentioning that ExactPro is on the list of the FIX trading community premier global members. It's a list of 25 members of the community representing the largest financial organizations. From stock exchanges and regulators to technology vendors. Under the umbrella of fixed trading community, these and other organizations work on addressing real business and regulatory issues impacting global markets. Through standardization, increased operational efficiency and transparency and reduced costs and risks for all market participants. Let's go back to the FIX protocol used by all members of the community. It looks like this. The tags are often limited by a set of values. Each message is a sequence of packages transmitted via TCP and containing tag value pairs separated by pipes. For example, this means that using the FIX 5.0 protocol, we are sending the exchange message requesting to create a new order to buy 100 lots of ACME shares at price of 100. Within this one message, using just two tags, order type and time and force, we can produce X combinations, which differ in behavior. And we can have dozens of messages like that. For each message, we collect the statistics, the number of times it appears, plus the tags and values it contains. The approach includes collecting and processing messages, storing them in the database, and consequently, their analysis. Let's take a look at these three stages. First, we collect all possible messages, their fields and their field values via network capture, or we can get them from the system logs. Secondly, we retrieve the necessary data from the logs or the TCP dump after the full run of the test library and store this data in a database. In our case, Exactros passive testing tool Shisha does that. Last but not the least, we analyze the results from the database. It can either be done manually by an analyst or automatically using a special script. For retrieving and analyzing this data, we need the template a list of messages, their tags and possible values in a machine-readable format. The examples of such templates are fixed orchestra messages, XML dictionaries, and so on. In our case, a dictionary is an XML document containing all possible messages and their possible tags in a separate section and their possible values in the other section. An XML dictionary-based script records the results into the statistics database. Then, using Grafana, we create dashboards and present this data in a user-friendly way. Here you can see the main window of Enumchecker 2.0. In the upper left panel, there is a list of available sets for test runs. Each set contains the data for a particular version of the system. In the top right panel, there is a list of databases from which the statistics for a given set have been collected. In the lower half of the screen, you can see the consolidated table that shows the total number of messages in the dictionary and the number of messages found in all databases of the set for each protocol. The same is done for the fields and the nums. Each line in this area contains a link to a more detailed report. For example, let's look at the report for the messages received from a client via the fixed protocol. The report contains five tabs. The first tab demonstrates the message statistics showing every message type and how many times it appears in the system logs. For convenience, this information is displayed as a pie chart. The next tab contains all fields available for each message and the information on how many times they appeared in the system logs. The enum values tab demonstrates the list of values that appeared in each field of the selected messages. If you click on the line, Enum Checker shows the distribution of values for a particular field as a chart. 
The last two tabs contain the fields and values that were found in a system log but are not included in our dictionary. That is, potential problems or just the fields or values that haven't been documented. At ExactPro, the process of collecting TCP dumps, creating databases, and running the script to select values is fully automated using Jenkins and Shell scripts. The dumps are collected and put in a separate folder. When the system shuts down, they are automatically parsed into a database and the script is run against it. It allows us to see the value dynamics for different times and different versions of the system, plus a breakdown of the messages, the fields, the tags, and the unexpected values. This way, executing these steps, we receive a certain representation of our test coverage, check its quality, and find unexpected values that should not have come in from the system. It's worth noticing that the coverage analysis shouldn't be based on a couple of scenarios per each requirement, but rather rely on the entire data set acquired as a result of testing. And this includes functional and non-functional testing, manual and automated testing, regression and exploratory testing. We also use the method of replaying fixed data and fuzzing. So, test coverage analysis is a continuous process and integral part of the software testing. Let's see what we've learned. The method I described today allows us to build a test coverage model based on a num checker. It can be used to analyze a static snapshot of a test coverage to assess if the coverage meets the requirements related to the fixed fields in the trading protocol. In the next video, we can look at the way of determining coverage that doesn't just account for possible values, but also that transitions between them. We will also go beyond the limits of discrete values. If you are new to our channel, we will be happy to see you among our subscribers. Remember to hit the bell button to be the first to see all the new videos. In the next few weeks, we will review many other software development and testing issues. Stay tuned and stay safe. We'll see you soon.